is now called to order. We will hear today the, franch the franchises of five broadcast companies. We have House Bill number 8973, which seeks to renew the franchise of Nation Broadcasting Corporation, who pioneered the 24-hour broadcast outside Metro Manila. House Bill number hmm, 8076, which seeks the grant of franchise to FICTAP Radio Broadcasting Network. Uh, FICTAP intends to establish an AM, FM radio station, digital terrestrial television, and cable television in the areas of Kawayan City, Puerto Princesa, Roa City, um, General Mariano Alvarez, Samboanga City, and Cotabato City. House Bill number 8977, which seeks to renew the franchise of Signal TV Incorporated, one of the biggest paid television broadcasts in the country using direct-to-home broadcast technology, and House Bill number 9272, which seeks to renew the franchise of Real Radio Network Incorporated, or more popularly known as 99.5 Play FM. Alam ko to, parang teenager pa lang ako, meron ng ganito. Okay, so the grant of franchise, as you know, is a privilege. Alam na, alam na ni, ano yan, ni Mr. Basbanyo palagi yan. Uh, nagbibigay ng um, recommendation dito sa panel na to. We, um, so it's a privilege that carries immense responsibility. Kapag hindi ninyo nagampana ng maayos ang layuning pagsilbihan ng publiko, maaaring tanggalin o bawiin ng kongreso ang inyong prangkisa. That is why you ought to continuously improve, upgrade, and expand your services to benefit and to satisfy the public. In view of our mandate and responsibility to issue franchises, Congress has to ensure that only the most qualified be granted this privilege. To those seeking the renewal of their franchise, by now, you should know that you have to convince the committee that you have faithfully complied with all the duties and deliverables attached as conditions of your existing franchises. To help us in determining your compliance, we have invited representatives from the Ex uh, Security and Exchange Commission, from the Bureau of Internal Revenue, um, and also the National Telecommunications Communication. To the new franchise applicant, you likewise need to convince the committee that there is a public need for the service you propose to deliver and that your company has the means to adequately provide it. What services will you render? Where will you operate? Do you have sufficient resources and experience to provide these services? Prove your competence and capacity to us. We will also tackle House Concurrent Resolution Number 21 which seeks the approval of Congress on the sale, transfer, or assignment of the controlling interest in Advanced Media Broadcasting System Incorporated to Planet Cable Incorporated. <coughs> Excuse me. Last March 30, 2019, through Republic Act Number 11253, Advanced Media Broadcasting System Incorporated was granted a renewal of franchise. Section 10 of its franchise states that Congress shall be informed of any sale, lease, transfer, grant of use of rock, or assignment of franchise, <coughs> or the rights and privileges acquired thereunder, or of the merger, transfer, control of the controlling interest of the grantee within 60 days after the completion of said transaction. Any person or entity to which his franchise is sold, transferred, or assigned shall be subject to the same conditions, terms, restrictions, and limitations of this act. One second, just... While the franchise expressly allows such sale transfer, or assignment of controlling interest, it is the duty of Congress to ensure that the entity to which the franchise is transferred is qualified to be granted this privilege 
and has the capacity to provide the services underlined in the franchise. Hindi pwedeng basta ibenta lang ang prangkisa kung wala naman kakayanan ang magpapatuloy nito. Likewise, the committee wants to know the reason behind such transfer when the renewal was just granted to Advanced Media Broadcasting Systems Inc. two years ago and how this action will impact the provision and continuity of broadcast services in the franchise area. Congress welcomes the coming of more and better public service providers in the broadcast industry. We believe that broadcasting is a crucial line of communication between and among communities and has been an important source of information necessary for informed decision making. Thus, we want to make sure that all broadcast companies are fit to offer their avowed public service so as to encourage competition, drive companies to provide better service, and meet end user expectations. So before I call on the committee secretary to read for the record all the resource persons that are logged on in, um, and also acknowledge everyone's presence, uh, I would like to acknowledge um, any senator who's present yet or who's um, indicated interest to um, ComSec, Kuda, do we have uh, any Senator Marcos is uh, online. Okay, so we acknowledge, yes, who else? That's uh, it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then I acknowledge, I acknowledge the online presence of Senator Marcos. Okay, so, um, ComSec, uh, yes, Kuda, can you please uh, introduce our guests today? Thank you. Uh, good morning, Madam Chair, and to Senator Marcos. For the public hearing of the Committee on Public Services regarding broadcasting franchises, we have the following resource persons at the right now online. From the Department of Information and Communications Technology, we have Mr. James Lee N. Abendano and Mr. Jager Duane G. Tamaray. From the National Telecommunications Commission, we have Deputy Commissioner Edgardo Abarios. From the Bureau of Internal Revenue, we have Attorney Mary Gretchen Mondragon, Action Lawyer, Law and Legislative Division. From the Securities and Exchange Commission, we have Mr. Vicente Penamora, the Congestion Officer, Office of the General Counsel. From the Philippine Competition Commission, we have Attorney Ramon Jeriel Sawit, Legislative and Policy Officer. And Attorney Jared Rivera, Attorney 3, also from the Legislative Liaison Office. Uh, from the Kabisana ng, broadcaster, ng mga broadcasters ng Pilipinas, we have Mr. Herman J. Basbanyo. From Nation Broadcasting, we have Mr. Pierre Paul Buhay, the Chief Financial Officer, and Mr. Michael Rex Celis, the head of, head of legal. From Picktop Radio Broadcasting, we have Ms. Estrelita Juliano Tamano, the Chairman, together with Ms. Cecilia La Madrid B the President and CEO, Attorney Stanley Christopher Cabrera, the Legal Counsel, and Mr. Luis Beneventura, Serial Consultant. From Signal TV, we have Mr. Robert P. Galang, together with Mr. John Andal, the Chief Financial Officer. Uh, Mr. Robert Galang is the President. We also have Mr. Erwin V. Galang, the Head of the Technical and Regulatory uh, Department of uh, Signal TV. We have also an attorney Panciano Cruz Jr., the external counsel, and with Mr. Paulo Go. From Real Radio Network, Inc., we have Mr. Carlos Jose Rivera, the president. And then for advanced media broadcasting, Mr. Andrew Ariel Santiago, the president, together with Ms. Liway Y. B. Catapia, the chief financial officer, treasurer, and attorney Isabel Maria Zamora, the external counsel. From Planet Cable, Inc., we have Ms. Maribet Valentino, the president, together with Mr. Ronald Manlapig, the operations head of PCI and Stream Tech System Technologies, Inc. Mr. Ronald Ramos, the chief information officer of PCI and SSDI, or uh, Stream Tech System Technologies, Inc. We have Mr. Timothy Joseph Mendoza, the general counsel and corporate secretary of PCI. Um, I think we also have Ms. Merrill Zamora, the chief financial officer. Uh, that would be all for the meantime, Madam Chair. They will be the others will be joining later on. Thank you. Thank you, Komsakuda. Okay, while we're waiting for the others to join, let's ask uh, for a brief 
uh, remark and maybe, uh, well, if you have a very short presentation to introduce uh, your, your different companies. Let's begin with the Nation Broadcasting Corporation, the representative. Tell us about Nation Broadcasting Corporation. Why would you like to seek a new franchise? What services are you providing uh, for our countrymen? Let's begin with NBE, NBC. Good morning, Madam Chair. Yes, sir. Good morning, I'm, Mr. Buhay. I'm Raul Dela Cruz. I wasn't able to access uh, the invite from my laptop, so I'm using uh, Pierre Buhay's our controller. So. Okay, okay. What, what, so, what's your name again, sir, Mr. Dela Cruz? Raul Dela Cruz. I'm the general okay. manager for NBC, Madam Chair. Good morning and thank how, you. Good morning. Mr. Dela Cruz, how long have you been with NBC? Since 20, 20, January 1, 2020, Madam Chair. Oh, very recently. Where were you before? I used to work for TV5 Network Inc., Madam Chair, as head of broadcast operations. Okay, so still in broadcast. Okay, go ahead. Sorry for the interruption. Yes, Madam go Chair. ahead, sir. Okay. NBC, or National Broadcasting Corporation, owns and operates and maintains radio and television stations nationwide, Madam Chair. We are offering um, for the public, uh, for the uh, as public service to our countrymen, uh, sports, news, and information. And um, uh, we have two brands under NBC, Madam Chair. We have one sports, we're airing major sporting events in the country. Uh, that is uh, the PBA uh, for basketball. Uh, PVL for volleyball, and recently we aired the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, Madam Chair. For that is one sports, Madam Chair. That's our TV uh, network, UHF. For radio, Madam Chair, we have Radio Cinco, and we are actually airing news, information, showbiz, and um, and public service and public affairs, current affairs programs, Madam Chair. We have, at this point, uh, eight <clears throat> TV stations nationwide and 18, uh, 17 FM stations nationwide, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. De La Cruz. Now, you mentioned you have eight uh, TV stations nationwide. So can you tell me what those major provinces are that you set up? Is it an actual physical office there in those uh, yeah. eight stations? Yes, Madam Chair. We have Can you mention Ma them? Yeah, for, Man for Mega Manila, we are located in Antipolo. Okay. We, we have one in Cebu, Davao, mm -hmm. Puerto Princesa, Cagayan de Oro, Naga, General Santos, and Baguio City, Madam Chair, for, for our TV stations. Now, for your radio, you said how many do you have? How many? 80? We have 17, uh, we have 17, Madam Chair. Uh, 17, okay. That's all. Um, Madam Chair, it's... Yes? You were going, you going to, to add something? You want me to indicate the, the areas, Madam Chair? No, no need. You have 17, okay. and I'm sure you submitted those. So you yes, provide okay. employment to a lot of our uh, different countrymen in all of these places. So that's yes, good. Madam and Chair. also, um, you know, sports is very important, especially... With the recent development, we are also um, glad that, I mean, actually ecstatic that we finally won a gold medal. And, and that sort of turned around. Um, many of them had the, the, actually the, the sad mood that we were experiencing. Uh, so, yes, that, that is a very important service that you're providing. But thank you very much um, uh, for your presentation. Uh, next, Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, next we have PICTAP Radio Broadcasting Network. Your Honor? Uh, yes. Who, who's speaking? Uh, Your Honor, Attorney Cabrera for PICTAP. Okay, Attorney, go ahead. Uh, yes, please sir. introduce yourself. Yes, Your Honor, Yourselves. I'm Stanley Cabrera, uh, Legal Counsel of PICTAP Broadcasting Network Incorporated. Uh, good morning, Your Honors. Uh, first of all, we would like to thank uh, the Honorable Senate for this opportunity to be heard. Um, FBNI, or Picked Up Broadcasting Network Incorporated, is a new company. 
uh, the incorporators of which are veterans of the cable TV industry. Some of them have been in that industry for 20 plus years. Uh, for years, their aim has been to reach the last mile. Uh, these are the unserved and underserved areas throughout the country in our belief that this will help these uh, people um, with the information uh, that and entertainment that we can deliver to well for their entertainment as well as to better their situation. Now, um, in some areas, we have been successful in reaching the last mile, uh, while in other areas, uh, due to terrain, uh, demographics, and lack of support structures, we have seen that the wireless modality of delivering information and programming would be more beneficial. Um, likewise, uh, due to the developments uh, um, uh, given the lockdowns and the pandemic, um, considering that we already maintain community channels and the shift to distance learning, we have decided to form the company and to venture into television and radio broadcasting. And uh, this will only be possible if the Honorable Senate uh, grants our legislative franchise. That's our humble appeal for your kind consideration and approval. Thank you, Honor. Thank you, Attorney Cabrera. Um, I certainly am very familiar with um, some of your uh, members, I guess, in TikTok. Yes, I've attended uh, a few of your events. I'm interested because um, you, you mentioned, aside from uh, unserved and underserved areas, our switch to distance learning is really important um, to get the support of our broadcast company so that more students will be able to get connected. As you know, even our internet service is, is not exactly exemplary. Yes, sir. So we need the, the broadcast sector. All right. Thank you, sir. Next, Signal TV. Your representative, please. <clears throat> uh, good morning, uh, Madam Chair. Um, to provide a uh, background on uh, Signal TV, uh, Signal TV po, ma'am, is a pay TV service that is uh, available nationwide to both residential and commercial subscribers and we use uh, direct-to-home satellite technology. And uh, this technology in satellite, po, it allows us to reach uh, the entire country, even beyond what our uh, uh, P2Air networks can cover. So uh, that's you mentioned a while ago, Ma'am, Madam Chair, about uh, your public service, and uh, uh, we are very proud that we've uh, made uh, pay TV uh, very affordable. Ginawa po namin napakamura ho para makakuha ng ng pay TV service, uh, and we provide entertainment, news, and sports content. Uh, niniwala po kami that you know uh, ito hong TV can be used to inform, to help educate, and, uh, and especially entertain ho, our, our, our public. Uh, about education, if I could just mention, we even provided two free channels to the deaf ed so that we can help in the distance learning. And you mentioned also, Madam Chair, the uh, importance of sports, and we've been uh, very supportive. Our, our, our group has been very supportive of the Filipino athletes. And uh, just to mention, Signal TV po ang official broadcaster po ng Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Yan po, ma'am. Salamat po. Uh, thank you, Mr. Galang. Um, quick question. So you said mura yung subscription ninyo. Magkano? I mean, on uh, an average. I'm just curious. This you can load as low as uh, 100 pesos. Meron pa nga akong tingi load na 15 pesos, 30 pesos. 60 pesos. And it's a per, per month, per month? Uh, meron hong per month, meron naman hong three days, may one week. Para ho pang tawid oh, talaga. Pagka kulang oh, oh. ho sa budget, binibigyan ho namin na maliliit na denomination para makatawid lang ho. Pa, paano kaya yon? So kung tingi, kunyari, gustong magpakabit for three days, ano yan? Uh, cell phone ang gagamitin para magbayad? Pa, paano po? Pa, pa, paano yung connectivity nun? Ah, Madam Chair, ano, uh, una ho kailangan bumili ho ng uh, kit ng satellite, uh, na set-up box ho, na may satellite dish. Tapos yun ho yung magbibigay ng access sa, sa TV, sa bahay. Kakabit ho sa TV. And then uh, to avail of uh, yung service, you have to either top up na prepaid. Uh, I-load lang po ito. Uh, ah, okay. And then uh, pwede din naman ng postpaid wherein you pay your monthly, monthly bills po. 
Well, I know, you know, our country, as you know, is an archipelago and we're composed of many different islands. Um, so, and tourism is very important in our country. And I've noticed that in places, um, in uh, some hotels, especially in, uh, situated in islands, uh, the one that is the provider is Signal TV. I guess, as you mentioned, because of the satellite capability. So baka naman pwede yung mga cell phones namin, i-satellite na rin ninyo para nasasama ng signal eh. Kayo rin ata yun, di ba? Ah, <laughs> Kapatid Sher, kayong lahat, no? Uh, hmm. Well, di, di po sa amin kasi sa cell phone. So, eh, but, uh, but we do have a service so that's uh, available via cell phones. Uh, but you have to access it through data. Uh, yun ho yung uh, signal play. We have an OTT service so that's available. So a mobile user can also enjoy yung uh, uh, linear channel so and also our content ho, via any mobile device ho, as long as you're connected to data. Okay, so ab- around how many subscribers do you have? Uh, as of now, ma'am, Madam Chair, we have about 3.7 million subscribers nationwide. Wow, that, that's something. That's, that's a lot. And I'm sure you'll continue to expand. Um, so you mentioned pwedeng tingi, pero sabihin na natin yung pinakamahal na subscription rate ninyo, yung kompleto yung mga uh, yung offerings, magkano per month? Uh, umaabot po, Madam, share to 1,990. Okay. Ito yung kompleto uh, ng wala sa home channel. But are, are you by areas? Like, for example, um, meron ba delineation na itong area na to signal uh, hindi pwede yung isang cable company lang papano yon uh, madam chair nationwide ho ang coverage uh, so wala akong delineation whatever we broadcast uh, is seen uh, across the country available to all okay all right uh, thank you again mr galang next you, is um, the presentation for real sorry did i hear anyone no real radio network incorporated 99.5 Play FM. Who's your representative? Good afternoon, Madam Chair. My name is Carlos Jose Rivera. I'm the president of Real Radio uh, Incorporated. Real Radio has been around since 1996. Uh, our company's mission is to provide uh, on air, online, and on ground content. Uh, activations for the entertainment of our listeners while promoting the culture of positivity that is ingrained in every single member of 99.5 Play FM. Our, our company's vision is to be a station to watch for music trends and be an influential avenue in the music culture of uh, the Philippines, uh, to be a go to space for all listeners to be entertained and encompass all generations, uh, young and the young at heart, uh, to be a positive, uplifting, and proactive voice in the uh, radio community. We are proud uh, to be called the station of the new generation. Um, <laughs> we are hoping. Di na kami kasama dyan, ha? Young at heart, kasama pa rin. We're hoping for the renewal of uh, the franchise to strengthen, of course, our core business, which is radio broadcasting, and our online digital efforts for events, uh, concerts, and podcasts. Um, you said you were uh, op- in operation since 1996. Did you say that? Uh, yes, ma'am. But before that, may 99.5 na, di ba? Yes po. Um, so did you take over? Was it, yes. Is it a different company? Uh, our, our company took over in 1996 and we've been operating uh, 99.5. Uh, okay, so who are your incorporator? Who owns 99.5? Uh, ma'am, hold on. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get lang the list of uh, our incorporators. Sorry, ma'am, we're getting it long so that I'm accurate with the list of incorporators that we have. That's fine. Okay, while you're, while you're waiting for that, or is it there already? 
while while you're waiting for that, you said you also had um aside from radio, you had television. Um, uh, te- um we have digital efforts. Oh, digital. Okay. Digital efforts that that we have uh for for the station. Uh, online events, online concerts. Uh we've also started uh podcasting for for Play FM. Oh, amazing, I know many different formats now. So, how is it doing? For example, as you know, there are very limited, and I don't think we even started any live concerts, you know, because of uh, our situation now. Um, so, ninety nine point five, you offer concerts, uh, online concerts, or broadcasting on, on the radio. Is that am I correct? Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, it's unfortunate na tinamaan po tayo ng ng pandemia and uh, as a means to continue to provide uh, entertainment for uh, our listeners, uh, our station uh, provides uh, once in a while online concerts and online content uh, for our listeners through podcasts uh, and then live stream uh, events through our social so, media platforms. So, sir, do you get local talents, uh, our OPM uh artists most to definitely. perform? Yes, Madam okay. Chair, most definitely kumukuha po tayo ng uh, OPM talents natin. Uh, both uh, the known um, and then the upcoming artists. Uh, also, Play FM has been known uh, to champion the OPM artists. And again, hindi lang po natin siya na-champion yung mga sikat, but tinutulungan din po natin yung mga hindi pa po sikat para sila ay sumikat. Okay. Um, binabayaran naman ninyo, di ba? Uh, yes, ma. Uh, o oh, are... kasi, hindi. Mahirap talaga ngayon para sa mga performers, imagine. Yes. Um, so, it, it they have a new avenue uh, to be able to entertain our countrymen. At the same time, they can still continue some sort of uh, uh, work and, and get compensated for it. I think that's really important, no? Uh, kasi ang dami talaga sa entertainment industry yung apektado ngayon. Um, kahit na yung mga artista kasi hindi naman din tayo nagpapalabas ng mga pelikula. Di ba? Lahat online din. Okay, so ano pa ba? Meron pa ba? The real radio, okay. Okay. Um, you can please submit to us uh, yes. the your incorporators. I, I'm sure you already did but I was just curious if I would recognize any of the names there. Um, okay, ma'am. All right. You, uh, next, we have... This is different. Huh? This one is not a new franchise or a new wall of franchise, but it's actually the approval, seeking approval for the transfer or assignment of controlling interest um, of this franchise. So may I call now uh, the representative of Advanced Media Broadcasting System Incorporated, Morning, Madam Chair. Nako, may, may echo po kayo. What's your name, sir? Sir? Okay, sorry for, for, for the technical glitch. Uh, I'm Andrew Ariel Santiago uh, from Advanced Media Broadcasting System Incorporated, or AMBS. It's a wholly owned Filipino stock corporation, duly organized and existing under the laws of the Republic of the Philippines. It was uh, incorporated, Madam Chair, on October 16, 1991. It has a principal business address at Unit 906, Paragon Plaza, EDSA, Coronary Alliance Street, Mandaluyong City, Madam Chair. AMDS uh, primary purpose is to buy, own, lease, control, construct, maintain, operate, apply for, and manage for commercial purposes in the public interest radio broadcasting uh, stations and stations for televisions in the Philippines and to buy, own, mortgage, grant, sell, and convey real and personal property. AMBS was granted a legislative franchise on June 15, 1995 for a term of 25 years or until June 2020. Uh, by virtue of uh, Republic Act number 8061, and the legislative franchise was later on extended for another 25 years or until 2044 
by virtue of Republic Act Number no. One Twelve Fifty Three. Uh, which took effect on uh, March 30, 2019. Pursuant to its franchise, AMBS was granted the authority to construct, install, establish, operate, and maintain for commercial purposes in the public interest, radio and or television broadcast stations. AMBS uh, has been uh, in operation since 1995. Uh, until recently, Madam Chair, it has three broadcasting stations operating within Metro Manila and uh, General Santos City. Uh, due to the current pandemic and its uh, debilitating impact on the operations of AMBS and its stakeholders, the current state or the current shareholders have decided to explore opportunities by which, uh, by which uh, the avowed uh, mission of AMBS might be better achieved. After due and careful deliberations, the shareholders have determined that the mandate of AMBS may be better served by transferring the shareholders' controlling interest in AMBS to an organization or an institution which is willing, capable, and committed to provide quality entertainment. But with special emphasis on well-curated music and programming that is both balanced and entertaining. In the course of continuing discussions with the Planet Cable, the shareholders of AMBS have decided to accept Planet Cable's offered to purchase controlling interest in AMBS subject to prior approval by Congress. The shareholders firmly believe that given Planet Cable's extensive experience in CATV and related services, its resources and its intention to expand into broadcasting services, Planet Cable will be able to continue the vision of the company and its founders when AMBS was first established, which is to provide accessible quality broadcast services to the public. Planet Cable is a wholly owned Filipino stock corporation consistently looking to expand its services to include products and services which typically require a broadcasting franchise. It has expressed its intention to continue and improve the operations of AMDSI's AM and FM stations as well as to continue AMDSI's five-year development plan including its proposed expansion into television broadcast around it. Okay. So what is your, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Andrew, is it, what's your last name again, sir? Uh, Santiago, your honor. Uh, are you related to Randy Santiago? Uh, <laughs> or Roel? Sana, or Sana. Raymart? <laughs> the Sana, three R's? Sana. Okay, well, alam mo, magagaling na mga awit din sila, di ba? Um, well, all very talented uh, family. Um, we just granted you your franchise in 2019, if I'm not mistaken. But you mentioned that you have been in operation since the 1990s. 1995? Is that correct? That's right, Your Honor. You're correct. So, in short... Since 1995, you've already been providing service um, in broadcasting. So you, since 95, you already had radio stations in operation? Or what, what did you have since then? Uh, we have uh, our FM station, 103.5, you like your honor. What is uh, it, 103.5. Oh, I also listened to that. Okay. Thank you. Um, so you, you're telling me that you want to expand and that's the reason why you, you sold your controlling um, stake. Am I correct? That's correct, Your Honor. What type of ex expansion are you looking at that you won't be able to do on your own um, without having to uh, get, uh, without having to let go of the controlling shares? What expansions are you planning? Well, Your, your Honor, we intend to... Uh... We are uh, an entertainment station. Uh, we're playing throwback music uh, and uh, the, the hits of the 80s, 90s, and, uh, and today. And, and today, that's right, Your Honor. Uh, we intend to venture into like uh, la tele, tele radio type of uh, programming. As a news, news. Na. Will you provide that's like right. news? Or it could be news. Yeah, but more of still music, which is the core, the core, uh, the core uh, mission of the station. Your Honor. 
So, Mr. Santiago, are you one of the owners? I mean, now? Well, I'm, the the I'm the president. Okay, you're the president, but you have, uh, do you have ownership also? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Sorry. Okay. No, that's fine. Um, I'm sure Mr. Basbanyo can attest to your uh, uh, being a member of the industry for a long time. Mr. Basbanyo, kilala nyo naman po sila, di ba? Yes, one of three point five, Madam Chair. Are they members? Member. member po sila ng KBP? Yes, Madam Chair, as far as I know. No? They've been an active member, I think, of the association, Madam Chair. Wala naman silang utang sa mga fees ninyo, no? <laughs> Wala naman. Uh, we are strict on the collection of our fees, especially at this time. <laughs> yeah, well, the KBP is really supposed to uphold the highest ethical standards in broadcasting. Uh, that's the that's the reason I ask. And uh, Mr. Basbanyo has institutional knowledge already of this. That's why um, it's very helpful to have somebody like him. Because, of course, when you say, oh, why are you a franchise? Diba? So kailangan merong insiders sa industriya na nagsasabi, hindi, totoo yan, hindi yan fly by night. Like, kasi alam mo, ang iniiwasan namin dito ganito. Kunyari, syempre, kami naman, we want to encourage uh, more investments in your sector. So we grant franchises. But what we don't like is, uh, let's say, a company, somebody will get a franchise and then turn around and sell it. Diba? We ginawang negosyo lang. Eh, hindi naman dapat government is not really even supposed to make money out of this. So we want to make sure that if you have a franchise, you have the capability to really roll out um, whatever you uh, committed to. And then number two, if you sell it to another company for controlling interest, that company also has a capability of continuing, if not expanding um, the service. Para walang masabi. Eh, alam ko, okay, medyo matagal na nga to. Alam ko sa house, mabilis lang kayo. Ano? ano, ilang minutes. Dito medyo, medyo mas extensive. Okay, so we already asked all of the applicants to make their short presentation. We thank you for it. The next step now is to ask our regulators, our government uh, representatives, the BIR, the NTC, the SEC, to see if you have any pending... Um, paperwork or fees that have yet to be settled. So let's begin now with the BIR. BIR, are, are you present? Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning, attorney. Hi. Um, for the BIR, we manifest that we shall submit our position paper on the tax compliance of the entities that are subject of the bills once the data are obtained from the concerned revenue district offices or RDOs. So right now we don't have the data with us with respect to uh, whether they have complied with their tax liabilities or tax assessments. Oh, so wala pa, none of the applicants? No, none, your honor. How about in the past? Uh, well, okay, ganito. Um, as you know, we're going on break. Uh, the, the the Senate will and both houses will go on break. Um, can you please give to the Secretariat Attorney a name from the BIR that they, these applicants can coordinate with just to expedite the process? Um, for example, uh, if there are submissions that need to be done, because if you go to the regional offices, nila, and dami nun, uh, some of them are all over the country. So just to expedite it, because we, we need that uh, information uh, in order for us to, to move forward with this. So, okay, thank you for your manifestation, attorney. We will ask for a number or a person that we can call. Because, you know, they can get lost in the labyrinth of government. Parang, sino ba, papano ba to? Sino magsasubmit sa Senado ng mga records namin para ma-approve ito? Okay. okay. Thank you, ma'am. SEC? You, SEC, are you present? Yes, Madam Chair, good morning. I'm Vicente Peña Mora from the Office of the General Counsel. Uh, Madam Chair, considering that we received your letter only last Tuesday night, uh, I would like to manifest that uh, we submit our position paper. 
including the corporate filings of the applicant corporations and documents. Nonetheless, I would like to manifest that uh, the SEC actively participated in the deliberation of House Bill number 8973, 8976, 8977, and HOR 21 before the House Committee on uh, Legislative Franchises. And therein, we submitted position paper for Nation Broadcasting Corporation. We attached the certificate of no derogatory information dated 23 February 2021. Uh, fixed up is or, uh, registered only on September 18, 2020. Uh, for signal, uh, we issued certificate of no derogatory information on 4th February 2021. Uh, for plan uh, advanced major court broadcasting system, uh, may penalty po sila sa amin. Uh, pakiayos na lang po siguro. For, Bakit? Uh, uh, taka, an anong penalty yun? Bakit? Uh, not filing po ng uh, general information sheet for the year 2020. Ah, year. So, okay. Uh, Mr. Santiago, take note of that, no? While yung planet po is uh, compliant po, we issued a certificate of no derogatory information dated September 10, 2021. Okay, uh, just sub for, submit that. Okay. Uh, for real uh, po, for real uh, Enrique Orozco Stans uh, Incorporated or real radio network, uh, can we uh, call attorney Labayo po to respond as to the status po of the corporate filing. Attorney Labayo po is uh, a lawyer from our company registration and monitoring department. She's already she's also present in this hearing, madam. Okay. okay. Go ahead, uh, Mr. Labayo. Good morning, Your Honor. Uh, I would uh, I would like to inform the of uh, Today's hearing, Your Honor, that uh, Real Radio undergone a petition for revival of its corporate existence, Your Honor. Ano yung ibig sabihin nun? Namatay ba? Ano? Nag-expire na po kasi, Your Honor, yung kanyang term. But due to the recent uh, passage of the revised corporation called Your Honor, we allow the corporate to continue their existent provided they file the necessary petition, Your Honor. Okay, uh, DL Radio, Mr. Rivera, don't forget. Uh, Your Honor, let me just check uh, my, uh, uh, my monitoring sheet regarding uh, Real Radio. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, uh, based on my uh, monitoring sheet, Your Honor, they have already filed all their general information sheets for this year, Your Honor, as well as the financial statement. But these are all tentatives, Your Honor, because we have not yet checked the contents of the financial statement, Your Honor, because that will take time, Your Honor. But they are compliant with the uh, reportorial requirements, Your Honor. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I understand uh, sometimes uh, we have just given short notice uh, before the hearing. Um, so all of these submissions, we will be awaiting those submissions. But let me also remind the applicants that um, we're working on a calendar. So if we are able to present, uh, am, I, am able to sponsor your application, but uh, in the process, you still haven't submitted, we can certainly uh, not go through with the uh, approval of the franchise. Uh, but just to uh, make uh, get the ball rolling, we will do it, but subject to that submission. Kasi kung de, lagot naman kami, but actually, dapat sa house pa lang, nabigay na ninyo yung mga yan, di ba? Uh, but okay, iba-iba naman yung proseso, basta maganda kung, med, kung pulido ito, para hindi din makustiyon yung prangkisa nyo. Kasi, you know the oversight function of the Senate, even if you already have the franchise, pwede pa rin namin kayong ipatawag dito and request NPC to suspend uh, your franchise if you do not comply, okay? 
uh, this is actually I'm relying on your goodwill and your word to comply with all the submissions in government. Okay. Um, thank you, SEC, for your um, for for your um, for providing us with some answers and also for reminding them for their submissions. Let's ask now, NT, are you, NTC, are you present? Uh, yes, Honorable Chair, Your Honor. Mr. Uh, Cabarios, welcome back. Uh, thank you, thank you. Oh, ano na, no, mas masaya itong mga hearing na ganito. Pero pag, pag telco, malaking problema. No? <laughs> uh, okay. We, we confirm ho, that uh, Nation Broadcast Corporation is operating uh, uh, radio stations and television stations and uh, signal also uh, radio stations and uh, television real uh, radio station and they are they have uh, complied with the uh, reportorial requirements submission of reportorial requirements and have an updated the payment of uh, supervision and regulations fees uh, we support for the uh, uh, renewal of the franchise of these three uh, broadcast companies. On Picked Up Your Honor new franchise, uh, the members of Picked Up Your Honor are uh, cable TV operation operators in the country. And uh, we also support the, uh, the grant of uh, a broadcast franchise to Picked Up uh, Your Honor. Uh, thank you very much, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Cabarios. About Mr. Basbanyo, KBP, meron bang uh, tiwali sa grupo na to? O matino naman po? Uh, we are supporting the applications, Madam Chair. Nation Broadcasting has been very active. Same with GB Broadcasting System. We're supporting their applications, Your Honor. And the same with Real and uh, uh also, the uh, initiative that was taken by Advanced Media. No? And uh, if they'll become more active, we'll appreciate that also. And as far as picked up, Madam Chair, uh, they're not yet a member of the KBP, but nonetheless, we're supporting their applications as well. But we're just hoping that uh, right after their uh, application is approved, they'll uh, uh, apply for membership in the association, Madam Chair. Attorney Cabrera, I think it would be good to be a member of uh, KBP. Um, yes. Are you considering applying? Uh, yes, Your Honor. One of the incorporators is an active member of KBP, Ma'am um, CSLD. So I'm pretty sure uh, that uh, we will coordinate uh, with KBP. Of course, uh, we don't have the actual franchise yet, so we'll sort it out after the grant, Your Honor. I assume we'll be given. Thank you, Your Honor. And, and then we also take the, from the representatives from SEC, NDC, BIR, and KBP for the endorsements. Thank you, Paul. Okay. Uh, may I say something, Your Honor? Hello, uh, welcome yeah. back, Ms. Mano. Yeah, uh, good morning, Grace, uh, Senator Grace. Uh, actually, before we started the uh, operation, uh, organizing the uh, Ficked Up Cable TV Association, we already applied with uh, KBP. But then uh, KBP informed us that they cannot accept cable TV application because we do not have a franchise only a provisional authority from NTC. That is the reason we are not qualified to join them. Yun ang sulat nila sa amin noon na hinihinga nila kami ng franchise. So rest assured that as soon as um, approve po yung aming franchise, eh, immediately eh, magme-member kami ng KBP kasi yung president, CEO ho ng Picked Up Broadcasting Network Incorporated, Cecil D, is a very active member and officer of KBP now. Thank yes, you. That's, okay. that's good to note. Um, thank you, Ms. Tamano. Um, I have a question now, just specific questions to some of our applicants. Um, this is for Signal TV. In August, it was reported that Signal TV's profit increased by 608.3%. That's fantastic. From 72 million in 2020 to 510 million. So what's the reason behind this? We want to know your secret. Yeah. Uh, Madam Chair, thank you for the question. Uh, the, uh, no, the, the growth in uh, profits was mainly driven by the growth in the number of subscribers uh, of Signal. Uh, and it happened for ma'am, uh, especially during the pandemic, there was an increased demand 
for uh, for TV. Uh, that fueled the growth of Signal and continues to fuel the growth of Signal this year. Uh, there was also an incident wherein uh, yung, a, another pay TV provider was uh, uh, discon well, discontinued its, its service no, due to franchise issues. So there were orphaned uh, subscribers then uh, who shifted to either Signal to other pay TV providers and even cable. So there was also growth coming from, from that. So. Exactly, the the shifting needs of our countrymen, our people, because of the situation, most of them are at home. So I, I that that really makes sense. Now, um, I don't, was there was a, an announcement that the shutdown of its Fox and Disney channels now Walayan's a signal. Uh, yes, Madam Chair. Actually, it it uh, it does not only it did not it will not happen only to Signal, but the entire. Uh, region. Uh, si Faxo and Disney decided to focus on uh, streaming services and uh, stop, uh, will stop offering its uh, pay TV channels. No? About eight channels po yun, Madam Chair, uh, starting October 1. So what we did, what Signal did was, uh, well, we, uh, no, we, we already have replacement channels for... Uh, for uh, like, like what? For, for children in particular? Uh, we have a uh, DreamWorks to replace Disney. Okay. DreamWorks is a very SKG, popular. SKG uh, DreamWorks. Yes, uh, franchise called SKG. Yes, po ma'am. But I'm. Ano may mga cartoons din yan at saka. I yes, Madam Chair. Marami ho merong hong mga Nick Nickelodeon, may Nick Junior, meron din hong uh, ah, okay. Network. Yan po. So you streaming? Kasi streaming na no. Um. How are we able to get that? I uh, do you provide that also the streaming option? Uh, yes, Madam Chair, we have a uh, what we call Signal Play app. It's uh, available ho for Android and iPhone. Uh, for and, iOS. and you can get Disney there. Uh, no, Madam Chair, uh, Disney will not make it available. But only the Signal channels, organic channels, and in some of the the free to chat will be available in some of the premium channels that you have on your on your plan. And we have a, it's a free, there's a free layer, uh, Madam Chair, for Signal Play. Uh, and there's also a, a premium layer where you have to pay a little more just to get more content. Well, yeah, of course, I understand it. Um, let's see. Um, All right. Well, the NTC um, in March 2021, there was a report detailing the complaint of Cerritos Heights Homeowners Association in Bacoor, Cavite, on the alleged. I have a question to NTC. Let's say you have a, a particular area, uh, like like a subdivision, or or maybe I I don't know like a, a condominium. Um, is it possible for a homeowner to get to subscribe uh, from other cable companies or? They only uh, the homeowners association has the power to say which companies only can provide service in those areas. Uh, Your Honor, uh, the Philippine Competition Commission, Your Honor, uh, does not allow uh, such exclusive uh, arrangements, Your Honor. So okay, so that uh, that's for the record. This is Your Honor. Yes. Okay. Um, can we have the represent? Is there a representative here of? Um, Am I... Sorry, ang kapal tito mga notes na to eh. Um, do we have a representative here of Planet Cable? 
watched it also Santiago. Uh, a planet cable, Mr. Manlapig. Uh, uh, good morning, uh, Madam Chief. Okay, um, Mr. Manlapig, you, do you have the capability to do the expansion that's being mentioned by advanced media broadcasting? Yes, Your Honor. Actually, Your Honor, uh, aside from the AM broadcasting and FM broadcasting, we're looking at uh, doing a digital terrestrial television and direct home, Your Honor. Okay. Um, you know that if when we grant you this franchise, I know it's just a transfer. So, iba yung sitwasyon nito. Kasi meron na kayong available. It's just a uh, transfer of ownership. No? It's a little easier in, in a way uh, in the process. But we also have to remind you that this is almost like a new franchise. So, when you take over, uh, you have to be able to roll out your service within two or three years. No? Uh, to be in operation because if you don't we, we we may be able to take the franchise back so just a reminder because you're getting into this very early on um, pero alam na yan ng advanced, advanced media because they've been there since 1995 so it's good that if you merge and then you get uh, controlling shares uh, it's good to, for you to retain people from the uh, advanced media so that uh, it will be a seamless transition also. Um, ayaw natin mawala ng serbisyo, uh, lalong-lalo na establish na rin yung 103.5. So yun lang, uh, just a reminder. Pero to all of the cable providers, I would like to remind you na walang mga monopoly-monopoly dapat ha. I mean, uh, let's... let's uh, let's allow our countrymen to have the, the, the choice. And I think competition is good kasi magpapagalingan kayo kung sino yung magaling mag-provide. Um, and then try to assist each other also. I, I mean, it's good if they, our countrymen have more options. And I know KBP will, will do that. He will remind each of you to play fair, uh, to play hard, but play fair. Um, so... With that, I just have to see because there are a few things that let me go over some of these things before I forget anything. Um, give me a, a one minute suspension. Uh, that I that I've mentioned the, the companies that uh, haven't completed their documents with our regulatory agencies, please submit those. Um, given that PICTAP also has a pending application for Telco franchise, um, we will suspend your consideration first. Para ma masama na pati yung Telco um, anywhere you're in operation, but uh, we will need to suspend your consideration. But for the rest, for the rest of our other applicants. And I will enumerate, just to be sure, for Nation Broadcasting Corporation, for Signal TV, for Real Radio Network, and also for um, and also for Advanced Media. Your this this uh this hearing is now adjourned. Pick up. To be continued with your telco, okay? So uh, suspended mo na kayo. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Um, we just want to say that uh, actually the telco applicant is a different corporation, but we we submit to the we defer to the wisdom of the of the commission. We submit your honor. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. We just uh, have to make sure because parehong picked up, eh. so we just have to look at it together. Uh, we submit. But, but, we, we don't see any problem. Huh? We don't see any problem. We just want to make sure that we, we, we have the submission also for your telco. Thank you. Kasi, okay? Parang ano eh, bilis na expansion niya, hindi kami makakip up. Biglang meron na kayong telco. Okay, so everybody. I'm sure if I may. Uh, 
Yes. Madam Chair, if I may, yes. Uh, with regards to uh, our concerns, uh, SCC Kanina, according to our records, uh, we have submitted the final audited FS for year 2020 received by SEC ICTD last June 14, 2021. Oh, yeah. And take note, SEC. So, voila, just furnish our office a copy of that. Okay, yeah. So, this is before lunch, huh? 11.35. Tapos Your na Honor. Uh, yes. Your Honor. Maybe I love Yes. Uh, Who, you already said a while ago, Your Honor, that the real radio, your honor, is compliant with all the reports and requirements, your honor. But however, your honor, the monitoring is tentative because I mean, we have not yet uh, looked on their pinak on their recent audited financial statement, your honor. So uh, we okay, uh, yeah. Mr. Labao, okay, Labayo, can you just uh, coordinate with Mr. Rivera? Yes, your um, honor. Uh, will is it okay if we give a uh, Please, uh, Secretariat, please get the number of Mr. Labayo um, so that they can coordinate quickly. Okay. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, guys. Um, have a good lunch. This yes. meeting is now adjourned. Thank you, Madam Chair.